now on 18 News. Tonight at 6, spring forward. But don't forget, the battery will explain. There is a place, of course, for community prayer, which is what we are doing now. Plus, with the parties and celebrations of Mardi Gras over, Christians all over the globe are heading to church today to mark the start of Lent. Live from your local news leader, this is 18 News at 6. Good evening, everyone. I'm Zach Wheeler. And I'm Olivia Jaquith. Thank you for joining us for 18 News at 6. A fire causing a total loss of a home on Pitney Street in South Waverly, the Athens Township. Volunteer fire company saying the cause of this fire was the home's chimney. Now, fortunately, there were no injuries in last week's fire, but this situation is raising awareness of what could be a problem in homes tonight. Yeah, now with these low temperatures outside, it is prime time to light up fireplaces, but how can we ensure they are up to par for safety? Well, Corning Bureau Chief Nikito Ramos shares tips on how you can stay snug away from danger. Yes, good evening, everyone. Chimney cleaning is often overlooked and seen as a job that can be done every once in a while. But the City of Elmira Fire Department says consumers need to realize the importance and unforeseen consequences if it's not taken care of. The Chemung County Sheriff's Office has arrested two men after a high speed chase and a foot pursuit. Brandon Elwood and Gregory Brown drove away from police who had stopped them for traffic violations. The car chase ended on Catherine Street in the city of Elmira. That's when both men tried running away on foot. Police caught them after just a short chase, and both men have now been charged with possessing a controlled substance, with Alwood facing a few more charges and being sent to jail. Republican Congressman Tom Reed uh, from our area wants to limit the president's power to declare a national emergency. That's right. Washington correspondent Morgan Wright reports lawmakers are working on a bill that would prevent this and future presidents from using emergency powers to go around Congress. Republicans are lining up behind President Trump to support his national emergency declaration to secure funds for a southern border wall. The president is well within his rights to do that, to protect the laws of our country, to protect the borders of our country. It is a big day for the Shemong River Friends. Executive Director Jim Pfeiffer invited to join the Chosen Clean Water Coalition as they head down to Washington. They were there to lobby Congress and advocate for laws, funding, and support for clean rivers and streams stretching from the Chemung River to the Chesapeake Bay. It's part of the seventh annual Chesapeake Bay Day on Capitol Hill. Hey, you should care about it because our lives depend on clean water. But if we can clean up the rivers in our watershed, it has a nice effect of cleaning up the waters downstream. Pfeiffer says it's an honor to be a voice advocating at the federal level to protect the New York and Pennsylvania watersheds. Speaking of local movements in Albany, local roads are the reason hundreds of local highway superintendents and DPW employees stood with members of the New York State Assembly and Senate today at the New York State Capitol. They were in Albany advocating on behalf of budget dollars for local roads, bridges, and other infrastructure needs. There was a passionate presentation today. Have attention to that. This is a taxpayer issue. Our state taxpayers, our taxpayers in our district deserve to see some of their state dollars come back to your local communities to fix their local infrastructure. Thank you. They were also seeking the restoration of a $65 million extreme winter recovery allocation enacted last year, but not included in Governor Andrew Cuomo's proposed 2019-2020 state budget. Meanwhile, Governor Cuomo today announcing the opening of the Women's History Month exhibit honoring New York State female trailblazers and public servants. The exhibit is located in the governor's reception room on the second floor of the New York State Capitol and will run through the end of March. There are a total of 28 women being recognized. Going to have to check that one out. Yeah, it should be an interesting one. Meanwhile, don't forget, Olivia, we've got that uh, women's celebrating women. That's what we've been doing over the next month in March, which is pretty cool. We've got some specials coming up. On MyTwinTears.com, always a great opportunity oh, to thanks. celebrate women in our community and around the nation. Of course. All right, so spring is right around the corner. Yeah. There's 
Hopefully, right? Yeah. Well, you know, we can't really tell with this one, <laughs> but, but that's what we've been told. Yeah. So that's that's what Pakistani Phil says. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave yeah, it at let's, that. Yeah. Hopefully, it was. But yeah. we gotta be worried about those lawnmowers. That's coming up right after this. You're watching 18 News at six.